All right, then uh, welcome back, everyone. So let's solve this question now. Uh, came with integers. So let me read out the question for you. The question says uh, Vanya and Vova are playing a game. So apologies if I'm pronouncing the name wrong. But anyway, so there are two players playing a game. Players are given an integer n. On their turn, a player can add one to the current integer or subtract one. Okay, so this is a move allowed for every player. Add one to current integer or subtract one. The player takes turns. Vanya starts. Okay, so the game is started by this person Vanya. If after Vanya's bow, the integer is divisible by three, then he wins. Okay, so if uh, Vanya can decide like every player has option to either add one to current integer or subtract one to current integer, then if after uh, Vanya's move, the integer is divisible by three. So the, the game is started by Vanya, and if after uh, his move, the integer is divisible by three, then he wins. Okay. So one move consists of either adding one to current integer or subtracting one from current integer. Fine. If ten moves have passed and Vanya has not won, Boa wins. Fine. So we have a, a move which consists adding one or subtracting one from an integer and and if after Vanya's move the integer is divisible by three then he wins. If ten moves have passed and Vanya has not won the Vova wins. Fine. Let's see. Uh, write a program that based on integer and determines who will win if both players play optimally. Let's see uh, the input. The input uh, says first line contains integer t number of test cases. Fine. Then the single line of each test current integer n. So we are just given integer n. We are given integer n. We are given a move. We are given a move. Right, either add one to it or subtract one from it. The game is started by Vanya, and if after Vanya plays, the number becomes divisible by three, then he wins. Fine. Let's see. So we'll have to take some examples and understand it. Let's just let me just go to Sublime and try to make you understand what is going on. So let's just take some examples. So if after Vanya's move, the number is divisible by three, then he wins. That's what we're talking about. So the game is about uh, whether a number becomes divisible by three or not. Right, game is about whether number within divisible by three or not. So, what are possibilities of n? Like, uh, what are possibilities of n? So, one is starting the game. So, initially, uh, n can be like, let's say, when basically what I'm saying is, if I'm dividing, I'm doing n modulo three. What are the possibilities of remainder? Remainder can be the zero. Okay. So, this is the case when let's say n is three, like nine, twelve, so on. Right. So, basically, the multiples of three. Or the remainder can be one. The remainder is one. Uh, so basically, what are the remainder one possibilities? Four, seven, ten, uh, four, seven, ten, then thirteen. Right. So these are the numbers uh, which have a remainder one, and the remainder can be two. So why am I writing these remainders? By the way, okay. Uh, because uh, the game is revolving around whether after whether after one is whether number is getting divisible by three or not. So it depends on lot. It depends on the cases that what the remainder n currently gives. Right. So the remainder two, two, five, and then. Uh, to five eleven then uh, which one fourteen right so fourteen will give me fourteen will give reminder two so on and so forth these are possibilities of uh, n initially so r equals to zero case okay, so one year starts right so what should be the optimal for one year in all so one is starting so both players will optimal right so they both will try to win who will try his best that one year doesn't win that is he will try to make a move in such a way that after one year's move the number doesn't become divisible by three but anyway the game is starting with one year so the numbers for numbers these three possibilities are there. So what should a one do at first? So for Amanda zero, okay, uh, it's not that straightforward to think right now. For Amanda zero, whether he subtracts or increments by one. Okay, yeah, one more thing. Operation only. Like the move consists of what is the move? The move consists of friends increment the font size a bit. Okay, so the move consists of either increment by one or subtract by one. Okay, we only have the move is either just add one to n or subtract one. So let's take an example of uh, Amanda equals to one. So I just take example of four. So what Vanya can do is, she can simply, uh, sorry, he can simply subtract one from it and become three. The number becomes zero by three. Okay, let me take another example. So remainder one example again is seven. So the number n is seven, so remainder is one. They can just reduce it by one. They can reduce it by one, and it will become six. Again, Vanya wins, right? So Vanya wins here. Let's take an example of remainder two. So remainder two is, uh, for example, two. So what Vanya can do is, he can just increment it by one, become three. Vanya wins. If let's say this number is five, this number is five. Okay, sorry. If this number is five, okay, you got the point right. You can just add one to it, and it becomes divisible by three. So one of it. And I think it's not that difficult to observe that if the currently, uh, currently if n leaves a remainder of one, we can just decrement it, right? We can just decrement it. So after the first move, one and one goes first. That's the important thing. As you write that also, one and goes first. So both are trying to be optimal. One is trying after his move, he should win. That number becomes divisible by three. So it's very easy for him. If the remainder right now is one, he can just 
uh, I can just decrement it. Just decrement it. So in this case also, first needs to be right. So yeah, that's what it mentioned, right? So okay. So that's what's mentioned, right? So if a Vanya wins, print first, and second if a Bova wins. So, a reminder to, again, it's very simple, just add one to it. The reminder is two, right? So, if it just add one to it, then it will become divisible by three. Then this is the first place. Right? So, now this remains one k, reminder zero. So, initially, initially the number was divisible. Initially the number was divisible by three. This is an interesting case. Three, six, nine, twelve. So, here, like, it's, I don't know if you can observe it. Okay, I'm assuming that beginners are watching this video. So, what will happen is, uh, if after n moves, it is mentioned, right? It is mentioned the question if after 10 moves have passed and one has not moved, so what wins? Right? So 10 moves is the pump. So initially it is divisible by 3, but still one one is not won, right? So what one will do? He has not much of an option here. He can either increment it or decrement it. Like for example, uh, uh basically the limit is on 10 moves, right? So it will left first one and then uh, basically first will be paid by one year, then over, then one year, then over, so on, right? So this will repeat the uh, this will go so on, right? So eventually, uh, the five pairs will be the right? Hectare. So eventually, one above. So there will be five pairs. Because 10 was the bar. After 10 moves, anyway, someone has to win. After 10 moves, if number is not going to be by 3, then uh, uh, Boa wins. So initially, uh, let's just take the number to be 6, right? Divisible by 3 number. So Vanya doesn't have much option. He has to increment it or decrement it, but uh, no, that's not much. Let's say he decides to increment it 7. In hope, that later, uh, like if Vova decides, if Vova decides, okay, if Vova decides to make it, let's say eight, then uh, if Vova decides to make it eight, then uh, he can maybe increment it to nine and win, right? But that's not gonna how, but that's not how Vova is gonna play, right? He will try his best that one and loses. So what Vova will do is, he will say, okay, you incremented by, you incremented six by, you incremented six by one. Uh, I'll just nullify it. I'll just make it six again, right? So one will again try to increment in hope that okay, maybe Vova will increment it to eight and then I'll make it nine. So Boa will again nullify his move. He'll make it six. This will go on. Uh, like before here, somewhere. Uh, this will go on for a lot of time, like five times only, not much. So again, one will increment in hope that Boa gives him chance. But that's not gonna happen. Boa is again gonna nullify that move. So you are getting what I'm saying. Okay, if you're not getting, let me just take another example. So let's see even if one decides to decrement this number, and I decide to decrement this number five, in hope that if Boa also decides to decrement this number, let's say Boa decides to make it 4, one I can convert it to 3 and after his move we can win. But that's not gonna happen. Boa will again gonna nullify his move and make it increment it by 1. I'll make it 6 again. So one again in hope, okay, let's decrement this. Let's decrement this. Uh, Boa is again gonna nullify his move. So basically, uh, sorry about that, that was some disturbance. So what I'm saying is, if the number is divisible by 0, whatever one I will do, whether it will increment or decrement, Boa will just nullify it. Why? Because let's say the number is divisible by three, right? So one will either increment or decrement it. So Boa will just nullify that move. So no matter what one does, he cannot, he can never make the number divisible by three, right? Because Boa will again make the number divisible by three before one has moved. So this is a key point. Boa will make the number divisible by three before one has moved. You can trace out a few examples and realize that this is what's happening. So if the number is divisible by three before one has moved. He cannot make it divisible by 3 because he has to either add 1 to it or decrement to it. Right? So basically, our algorithm uh, is very simple. If the current number has it is divisible, it basically leaves a remainder 1 or 2 when divided by 3, then uh, 1 wins otherwise. Who wins? So I don't think even I need to read the pseudocode. The pseudocode is the answer itself. So I just uh, code it up quickly. So in 10, basically, the integer we have here and uh, we can 10. So if the number is divisible by 3, in this case, uh, in this case, second, right? So in this case, uh, Boa will win. L, in all the cases, the remainder is either 1 or 2, and a Right? So let me just confirm uh, everything is fine here. Okay, well, then turn you. Okay, first, second, first, first, second, first. Okay, my, this is some separate. First, second, first, first, second, first. First, second, first, first, second, first, okay, makes sense. So let me just uh, upload it. Uh, okay. Let me just submit it and see if it works. Yeah, it works. So thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.